Hey folks. I'm gonna be participating in the Giant Bomb Community Endurance Run in a few days. So I need to practice, so let's speedrun some Oni. Hey Taylor, hey Slowbird, hey folks. Thank you for the help. I will need it. Hard mode as usual, everything is the way I just set it all the time. And all, all three, two, one, go. Hi, Kanoko. It's me, Shinatama. Hi, Shinatama. Also, 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 is a pretty good band. But also, I will be um, one of the uh, one of the things I'm doing for the uh, endurance run, which is for um, uh, pencils of promise that gives money to help uh, pay for education for kids in, um, I believe, a third world country, uh, basically is, uh, I'm going to do the bag breakers for bucks thing. So during this run, I'm just going to start counting them just to see how it is. But basically, uh, for that run during the uh, community endurance run, uh, I will be encouraging folks to pledge $1 per backbreaker I can land during the run. So um, I only do one during the tutorial, the one it asks me to, and that's it. I don't look. I don't go looking for more. But out of the tutorial, I will be trying to do as many as I can. So that that should be interesting. So if you can help uh, help me keep a running tally during this run, I will be very appreciative. Come on, escape moves. Like yeah. Well Alright, now Karen and the robots. Oh, that's a good band name, Karen and the robots. They just materialized and... Um, Sorry, we're gonna watch them briefly. Yes, the insurance funds is this weekend. It starts right after uh, UPF tomorrow. Um, so basically, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, we need Karen to win or to die. Either works, so long as it's quick. I think Karen's Karen's in a good spot right now. We play on hard, so everyone hits harder. It's just now people are just okay. That's great. Like just stop stop doing these escape moves and just hit folks. And no, stop, okay, these are really cool escape moves, but you just need to you know beat up robots. Now we can oh, she finished both of them with the same punch. Too. That's pretty cool. Let's start with sneaking. Okay, now we need to do this. Basically, um, for this part, this is like almost eight that minutes of. Perfect. Just basic training, but I'm going uh, after the text that appears at the bottom of the screen. Those are the cues that matter. As soon as it tells me to do something, I do it, and then the rest proceeds. Sometimes it'll go if I take too long. I'm just like, okay, fine, just keep going. But I, I don't want that to happen because I want to be fast. You know, <laughs> I love Shinatama so much. Yep, did it. Okay. Now it's going to be one punch, and then one kick, and then two punches. Try throwing two punch. The second punch was different from the first. Now she's going to talk for a bit, and eventually we're going to do the. Punch, punch, kick. It's all in my This is a pretty good, like, combo. It hits pretty hard, but I can get thrown in the middle of it, so I don't use it very often. There we go. Now we're just going to stick our head through this wall, because we can. Just, like, peek through it. Yep. I'm ready. Let's proceed to the first combat training room. Approach this fella doesn't really throw, though, so I can just keep doing that. Don't worry. He won't fight back. 
I'm not sure what's the quickest way to end this, but usually the text just scrolls and then I just need to go. Oh, crap. Okay. Now, this, this one is a little bit trickier. I really need to wait until I'm prompted. There we go. That's one. Then I need to wait for the next one. I think the next one is the backbreaker. Kind of need to reset him. Standing behind the drone. Nope. Okay, yeah, because... Once... If I don't kill him, he'll just keep doing that. Now... There we go. And that's the one backbreaker I do during the tutorial. And we're done. See, this is one of the times where it just takes too long. Just fine, just go. And this one really, I just, I do, I do nothing here. Thanks for the well wishes, folks. Thanks, Trace. Thanks, Kay. Bye. Be careful, Kanoko. Some attacks are so powerful that they can stagger you even if you block them. Some super moves are so strong now, they can't be blocked at all. When, when I'm ready, ready I'm ready. For the final combat training room and we'll learn how to fire and reload weapons. Okay, now we need to shoot relatively quickly. This, this little shooting rage is great at teaching you recoil, though. Now, I just need to, for Shinatama to stop talking and tell me to reload my weapon. Thank you. I wait a beat, and then I grab this. There we go. And we're done. And that's the tutorial. Now Shinitama is going to talk a lot. <laughs> it's I I've I've already I've already destroyed that robot. Thank you. Yes, cool. It's it, I kind of imagine Shinitama train. Okay, now read. Now I'll activate the. You did it. Great, like great job. Oh, I just like just not paying attention and kind of looking at her notes. This is the first time she's she's coaching me through this tutorial, so she's kind of like excited. Yes, we know everything. We know all of this. Now we just wait. Yes. Just do your best. Ah, 0. 0.5 seconds later. That's still pretty good, though. I think, yeah, that's that's pretty much the best I can do with the tutorial. 744 or 745, there are few things left to shave off. It's kind of annoying that, I mean, it's just, it's on me. I decided to start the run with uh, the tutorial, but I just feel it lives up to it a little bit more. And it is, you know... Interesting to see just how much you can shave off of that tutorial. What are you sending her into? It's a simple um, in and out. She needs a backbreakers on Kratos like here are tricky. It all depends on when I throw him to the ground, how he stands up. If he stands up in a way that I can kick him in the back, I can do it. If he doesn't, I can't and I throw him again. It's it's a gamble. Yeah, okay. We're good. We know. Okay, now we go. Hey! Hi! Hello! Alright. Do I remember how to do this? I guess I kind of do. Okay. Nice. So we do this. Thanks, Jeb. Then I drop here, so I don't aggro the guy upstairs. Whoa. Boop! There are a few enemies I actually need to fight in this game, 
So I will not try to like get backbreakers on enemies I don't need to fight because that's just a big time waste. That's Chung. He's dead. Ah, that's a great landing. It's Chung. I found him. Dead? Yes, sir. Keep moving. Then I grab his last will and testament. Whoops. And then we keep going. It's kind of a, like, when you think about it, wow, there's what, like, five or six actual employees in this entire warehouse who aren't armed guards? Everyone else is an angry armed guard? Hello. Boop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, cool. You haven't even started me. I'm talking about finishing me. Okay. Now we just go here. Hit this switch. Then we run. And we hope this guy is not gonna fight. There was a guy behind me. I just hope he doesn't enter attack mode. Now we let this poor civilian get beat up. Sorry, civilian. And two. They took over the whole place and they're loading some kind of armored truck. Now we use the AI freeze for that. I'll open these doors for you. There we go. This makes sure that uh, no 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 one else is moving while he's speaking, so other guards don't have time to actually catch up and interrupt him. Sir, we are now at two backbreakers. Two spines collected. I've scanned the truck and they've almost finished securing their car. Boop. No way to get inside the truck. I don't do bucks for boops because I do a lot of those. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Show me what you got. You're gonna get beat by a girl. Okay, that was four, count them, four taunts on that terminal before Kanoko actually decided to hit the stupid button. I hate this mechanic so much. So. Level one done, and we are at two backbreakers. Is everyone going to say hi, or...? It's an no, okay. shipping manifest that links the warehouse to Masashi Manufacturing. I want to go check it out. It's not far from here. Well done, Kanoko. Fall back. I'll have you picked up. Musashi is owned by BGI. According to your latest report, BGI is a suspected syndicate front. If we can prove the connection, we can move against them. I can go in and... Negative. Fall back. Listen to the lady, buddy. Wait for another team to arrive. We have to move quickly or they're going to get away. She won't back down. Her dream you won't get far by standing your ground, because she won't back <sighs> down. Right, Kanoko. I'm giving you a shot at this. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. That's super. Got a new personal best. Also, gosh, we're like 19 seconds ahead. This went super well. <laughs> Why is taunting in the games? Oh, wait, wait, Agent Thorson. How can I be of service? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Agent Thorson. We are with the ah, Agent Thorson. Never change. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> Rhythm Bastard asks a really good question in the chat. Why is there taunting in this game? Why? Why? It serves no purpose. Of course, officer. I'm sure I can get someone to help you. They're here, finally. Is everything ready? You know it. They are getting out of here alive. Let me know. Now we get final boss talking to on one of the only other bosses in the game. Just make sure I'm not interrupted. There may be someone with them. Exceptional. I wonder where Muro comes I'm from. For anything, you I wonder where the names like Kanoko and Muro and Shinotama. I really wonder where these names come from. No, I haven't. I'll be careful. See that you are. You know the consequences of fear. You get to lose twice in boss fights. Please have a seat. 
someone will be right with you. Again, stop asking me to have a seat. You're the only person in this entire building with a chair. And off we go. She runs fast, by the way. She is so fast at getting to that nook. Yes, I'm, I'm getting faster at getting to that terminal, too. Okay, now, now we see that, like, there's someone, like, moseying up to me. Goodbye. Come on, get up. This whole place, it's a trap. They planted that data pad. To what end? It's a diversion. It, it has to be. The Syndicate is going to try something big while my team and I are busy here. I'll busy try to here. confirm your suspicions. Until then, your orders are unchanged. Find something we can use to shut them down. Yes, sir. I mean, like, they had a, C a silent alarm They were that brought, like, criminals into the room. Boop. To like assault and kill TCTF officers? What else do you need to take them down? Like you, you really, you really need a heck of a lot of proof. You know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that this isn't enough. <laughs> like they didn't even do the cursory like, oh sure, we'll give you a tour. Nothing bad is happening, and just hide the folks with like weapons but nope just like no we'll just kill people in broad daylight in the lobby where you which you can see from the outside that's that's a weird decision i'm um, dump the gun here go through the detroit airport i love this room with its useless machines this is so great okay can i do this skip Here's a new yes did it shinatama you look different Hi. I, I love I love the voice voice clips from those enemies so much. Okay. Now we go here. We steal that person's gun. My gun now. We summers I ouch. We somersault over these folks. Here. Okay, that's a good. Yep, that's a good matrix. Pattern. <laughs> Pattern is what I meant to say. That guy's got a gun. Pardon me, can that guy's go? got a gun. And I'm gonna need to steal it. Scan to locate the control mechanism that was used to activate the facility's defenses. I'm detecting a biomechanical expert system with a full suite of interface overrides and intrusion Oh, deadly, deadly brain. I thought we tracked down the last of them. Apparently, Moral found one we missed or manufactured one of his own. If you disable the device, we should be able to take control of the security system and clear a path to the nearest exit. Finally, some good news. Where is it? Dump the gun and go. And then I'm gonna steal his gun. Yep, that's my gun now. And then I'm gonna use that gun on these guys. Oh, that guy is just like, whoa, wait, what? Wait, wait, why did, why did this door open? I'm confused. Oh, wow, I missed the boop. <laughs> All right, well, that was weird. Boop is a terrible thing to waste. Activate those terminals fast. Unfortunately, the brain's subconscious is attempting. 
attempting to crash the public news net. That is unfortunate. The glory of instant celebrity. Ah, oh, it's unleashing a torrent of digital images. Ah, Shin and Tama found Toa's Twitter account. That pat that laser pattern's a little bit obnoxious, but I think I'm gonna get it. You must have decoupled its core logic on that final pass. The brain tells me it will irradiate everything within a fifty block radius. Oh cool. Yeah, um I'm glad that there's folks in the chat who have played this game but never beat it. You're in for a treat. Um you might not see all of the story because I'm going to be skipping some large parts. Complete the final sequence and shut that brain off for good. Mm. Okay, that's a level. Not the fastest, but pretty good. At least I didn't go running off in the wrong direction like I sometimes do. How is she holding up? But according to Shinatama, her day of latency has crept up to 29, but her... Through that window! That ball would normally hurt, but not... Not in this cutscene, because this is a pre-recorded animation. This is why I was against moving to phase Just three. running through those dead bodies. That's a lot of dead bodies. Gosh. Tired of listening to yourself How did that happen? Tirades. Kanoko is as much your creature as she is mine. That's great. All right. Still got a lead. Now we get to face off against Barabbas, also known as Kratos Lightyear. Uh, a lot can... Like, this is one of the randomer parts of the game. We'll just hope we get a good fight. Let's get it on. All right. Bait him into a melee attack. Do this. Okay. See, he didn't do the um. He didn't stand up correctly. And then he does this, which is even worse. And then he keeps doing this weird little jump. Why do you do that, buddy? That's a weird thing to do. Also, he's gonna put me in a very bad health situation, which is annoying. So this this fight went bad. Also, I keep missing this. See, this is this is what I was looking for. And three backs broken. So, I'm gonna need very good luck in the rest of the level because uh, of health. So I will really need that uh, backup hypo that Taylor found. So, the uh, I'm gonna make that hypo spawn by going here. I'm experiencing a lot of scanner reports from inside the research lab indicate that syndicate troops are all Okay, so um I'm not going to use it right away cuz I do want to benefit from its uh, overheal. Just Okay, I didn't alert that guard. That's good. I'm going to need I'm going to use it while I'm running up to the machine gun guy and that's going to give me the uh, buffer I need. So I just need to wait until he starts walking. There we go. Now, if all goes well, I'll be a little bit invincible. Well, boosted defense. There we go. So that let me soak up the damage. And now, uh, we just need to hope that... Oh my gosh, yeah, he did. I didn't even get to call him, like, <laughs> Captain Useless. He was useful. Good job, Ka gosh. He, he was good today, so we're in a very good situation. Now we just need to go up and uh, kill one more person. 
and then the level will be over. Good. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna boost right away because I don't want some stray shots, because um, if you're in over overheal situation, getting hit, not a big deal. If you are right before you use the overheal, huge deal. Because um, if you start a healing, it takes a while to heal, and when you get hit, it reduces that amount by a huge amount. Amount, amount, amount. That's fine. All right, we lost some time because the Barabbas fight wasn't as good. But that's okay, we're still ahead. Syndicate troops are attacking the airport. I don't know if these numbers are correct, but there might be dozens of casualties. So yeah, that's the thing, like, health management, huge in this speedrun. Uh, now we're gonna be up against one of the scariest jumps of the game, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I kind of stopped trying to go for the animation, and I'm just going for the timing now, and that tends to work better for me, because going for the phase in the animation is still so very hard for me. I've never... I, I have a lesser chance of success than when I just look at the ground. And that's White Shirt Guy in distance winning the backwards jump Olympics. And now he's gonna celebrate by pretending to be dead. That White Shirt Guy. He does a really good Chang impression. Alright, let's go. Come on. Hello, heaven. We don't really need that much health. Uh, we just need some of it to, like, get past this level. We also need to not get caught up in geometry. That happens a lot. <laughs> Boop. Okay, now I'm gonna steal this guy's rifle. Which guy? Well, the one that's gonna appear right here. Couldn't steal his rifle. Well, that's okay. Okay, but we did manage to jump out of bounds. Now we just chill a little bit. We watch these planes with their jets activated, but they're completely fenced in and they have nowhere to go. So we're left to wonder, what are you doing here, plane? Are you just gonna like rocket off into the terminal and destroy everything? How did you even get here? Like, did, did people just come and build these fences around functioning airplanes? Or are these, like, backblast things there when to use them, you, the, the plane would have to be aimed at the terminal? Why is any of this here? I mean, the answer is, well, so you can hide things behind them. But there aren't even that many things hidden behind them, so I don't know. It's some, It's kind of like when you have many boxes uh, with no pallets under them to actually move them. Okay, so the scary jump is coming up. Now we just have to look at the ground, look at our feet, and hope. And we didn't get it. So now we try again. Sorry, folks. Sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Really need to find a good solution for that part. At least that one I got. Because, like, if you jump at the right timing, you'll get a, uh, a speed boost on your jump. If you don't, you don't get that speed boost. Without the speed boost, that jump becomes practically impossible. But I still think you can make it just barely. You just... It's just so, so tricky to get that timing correctly. It's also hard to practice because you need to do this whole thing over and over again just to get that jump right. So I should probably just find a better place to practice and see if there's a way for me to actually reliably get the good, um, the good distance. Music's really quiet though. I usually still do this thing because I rarely miss it twice. And this time we get it. Just do your best. I will, Shinatama. Gotta be careful because this guy's on a scripted animation and will knock me to the ground because the script is that powerful. Now we need to knock this guy to the ground. Okay. 
because he has a health hypo. We need that. I really need. You see, yeah, um, I could, I could um, shave some seconds off of this level if I manage to defeat him quicker. So I need to find a better way to do that. Well. Hello, Bamboo. Welcome to the speedrun of this very old game. Hey, come here. No, I will not. Sorry. I'm busy. I got places to be. Hey, hey, come here. Nope. See, this other, this other, like, maintenance worker has his eyes on the job, doing the thing. Not minding the fact that there is, like, some of his co-workers dead in the other room. Okay, now we have to kill this guy. Okay, cool. Now we get his gun. And now we lure this guy over there. One potato. Two potato. Three potato. See, you kind of need to like keep shooting him or else he stops eventually. Oh, and... Okay, that was bad. That was real bad. But we still have a shot. Okay, oh gosh, he really messed this place up. Now we do a bit of a grenade jump. The only grenade jump in the game. That I completely flubbed. Whoops. So this is a learning run. <laughs> okay, let's really mess this guy up. That was a weird move you just did. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I reacted too fast. For this jump, uh, I need to really get into a good position. Position first, timing second. Like, it's, it's worth it taking the time I need to really, really get myself positioned right, because otherwise I need to redo it, and that's a huge time loss. Okay, now we should be good. Stand on the scene, go here. Wait until the grenade is perfectly still. Here we go. And now we grenade jumped over this wall to a place we're not supposed to reach. Now we have very little health, but that's okay because we're under the floor. Under the floor, under the floor. I'm gonna give these villains what for, I'm under the floor. And now we just grew to this very chill ambient track and just, you know, run under the world. Look at these boxes that our head is like slightly hitting just enough to require us to slide under them when we need to. We lost some time here, but that's okay. Like not everyone needs to be a personal vest. It can be full of learning opportunities. I mean, I still got a new personal best in the Syndicate Warehouse. That's pretty good. And uh, there's still there's still opportunities later on in the run to catch up. So that's okay. And this is all an anticipation. Well, I mean, I like doing this, but this is also an anticipation of the Giant Bomb Community Endurance Run, where I'll be doing a speed run of this for Pencils of Promise. So I hope to actually, like, you know, give a good performance there. The stress is going to be on, because I'm going to be, like, in front of a bigger audience than I usually am. And it's like a scheduled thing with other runners, because, hey, the community insurance runs is a big thing, turns out. Hey. Now I'm just going to jump over this guy, let this one just exhaust himself shooting at me. No, he's not going to get anywhere. Uh, my, my time, my time slot for the endurance run is going to be this Saturday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. So, you know, right before dinner. And I should be up on the, uh, on the Giant Bomb website with the chat, so that should be cool. Come on, cutscene. Yes. 
pasa. Not sure how fast I'll be able to get in that kind of situation, but it's going to be a, a good learning experience there too, to be in front of a different audience. But you can also join that audience if you want, it'd be totally cool to have you there too. I've been monitoring the woman tracking us as you instructed. Scanners indicate a standard comm link as well as a second set of subdermal transmissions. Analysis suggests that she is neurolinked to an SLD. An android. Interesting. They must be using it to monitor her progress. I want it. Tell Barabbas to retrieve it for me. All right, let's do this. Just do your best. That's good advice. So yeah, we're two minutes behind, but that's fine. Now we run through this very, very boxy city. Something's going down at the TCTFHQ. I also love how they there is no animation for this this like deformation they just use these just swap like shapes immediately but they use a screen shake and some shattered glass to make it look good. Showtime. All right, let's go. Where did her bike go? Oh, it went there. Okay. I was like, wait, it's where did it slide off to? All right, we're going here. Because of that guy. He he came out way earlier than he usually does. Oh, it's because I turned around to look at the bike. So yeah, I want I want to get away from him or find a direct path to boop him. So that it can um you know make him fall down and drop his gun as quickly as possible because he will hurt me a lot and I need a lot of health in this level. Disable the power substations. Static defenses. Syndicate Hedgeman is really, really into his job. All right, let's go. We ignore the first floor. Screw the first floor. We don't need you. Okay, cool. We got both of these things that we needed to get. Okay. I heard him this time. There we go. Usually he will like kick me in the back of the head and make me waste a lot of time, but I can just wait a little bit, knock him down, and then I can activate the terminal and keep going. That's good. I'm gonna remember that. Xandra will remember that. Now we sidestep the Fury. Hello, Fury! We grab these things, and we keep going. Fury has low health, high damage, but can't catch up to us when we're running. I don't think a single enemy in the game can actually catch up to us no! when we're running. Stay away. Help. No. Gotcha. <laughs> Yoink. Does anyone remember where my um, backbreaker count is up to? Are we at three? I think I, I got one against Barabbas. This is a tricky bit. Couldn't blow it first. Dang it. And four. Ready to lose? No. God dang it. You have to you have to stand up. I need you to stand up. Stand up right now. Thank you. Get me a 
laser torch, quick! <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. It's really, really bad when one of those guys decides to, to aggro on the engineer. Now that's a bad jump. That's a really bad... Okay, there we go. So I think... Okay, if my count is right, we are at four backbreakers. Also, I'm out of shield. So I really, really need that sniper to not hit me. Nope, can't see me. Okay. Nope. Oh, I, I kind of interrupted his uh, his soundbite here. That's weird. Huh? Boop. <laughs> that was that was a fun, like, huh? He really didn't know what was happening there. All right, Brabus fight. I lost some time. But I have a lot of health, so hopefully we're going to be able to back him into a corner. You again? You can't escape me. <laughs> Who says I want to escape? Okay, that's what we want. That's also what we want. And five. Alright, whoa. Thanks, camera. So five backbreakers. Don't pray, I'm on my way. If folks can could if someone could type Just that in the chat when I say it, it would help me keep track, because I'm It's just a number, but I'm also flooded with numbers constantly, so it's tricky. Thanks, Albert. To recover the SLD. This is personal. Which is precisely why you should. I was building this IKEA desk, and now you just barge into my office. Commanding officer. I don't care who you are, my friend. Like they have multiple types of couches, but they only show them briefly in this cutscene. You never see couches elsewhere, probably because couches make for weird collisions when you're fighting, and they didn't want, uh, like people fighting up on a couch. So, you know what? That's probably why there aren't many couches in this game or chairs because they just like you you need planes, flat planes for good fighting. With this engine at least. Hey, buddy. And off we go. Hi, buddy. You better run. You're in a bad spot. You're in a bad spot right now. Boop. Can folks just not shoot at me right now? Dang it. Hey, come on. What did I just say? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. Sometimes uh, the one of the blue strikers will catch up and interrupt him before he can give me the hypo, and that's just that's the worst. Okay, now we stop and we take a leisurely stroll off this platform and into the next checkpoint, and off we go. And we make this little skippy jump, so we can go straight here. Haha. 
Okay, I'm gonna need to really, really defeat that fury. There we go. Oh, buddy, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need to destroy you too now. Oh, you have a health too. Gosh, that's great. I didn't know. All right, everyone's got health. Oh, I actually need that gun. Okay. Now we jump off here and we do a series of tricky jumps. Okay, and we land in the next checkpoint, and now we're good. I have never had this much health going into this area, so this is gonna be pretty good, uh, provided I don't mess it up. This is not the ideal situation health-wise, so I'm gonna lose a bunch of it, but still gonna do my best. Okay, not so bad. And six backbreakers. Now we have a battle buddy. All right, battle buddy. I said, all right, battle buddy. I didn't. Okay, cool, there he is. He was just picking up a gun. Gosh, Battle Buddy, that was great. Good job. You can take five if you want. Thank you, that was great. Now I grab this gun. And then I take it off, and we don't need it anymore. There we go. That went well. Sir, I'm picking up a power surge from processor 31B. It's consistent with the waveforms of a Deoden spike, but far more powerful. Far more powerful. New personal best, ACC exterior. That, was, that went super well. That was great. I forgot to skip to make the title card go quickly, so that's going to hurt me. <laughs> well, okay. Now I cannot die for a little bit. Normally that would be the rest of the game. But yeah, you know, like there is not going to be a checkpoint for a while here. And I have a very powerful weapon, which I'm going to need to use very judiciously. Uh, the first couple of shots will go against Red Guy, who I need to kill now. How are you still alive? Thank you. Oh, dang it. Why did you have to grab that gun? You're the worst. You're officially the worst. Okay, grab her attention, her attention, everyone's attention. Come on. Okay. Okay, um, hey everybody, you need to stop doing these amazing combos on me. Okay, one or more of them should have dropped to health. I guess they didn't. 
That's unusual. Oh, because she never came over here. Well, that's bad. Okay, there we go. Now the cutscene. Two minutes to that fight. That's not ideal. I should be able to get that done quicker, I guess. I thought I aggroed the Blue Fury. I guess I didn't. Let me get you out of this chair. Don't. He hurt me, Because I do try, because there's some way to trigger this cutscene without having to destroy all of them. I just, I need to practice that more. Yeah, Tolf Gear, uh, the folks are talking about like, oh, this game blowing minds back when it came out. But yeah, um, games can always get better, well, to a certain point. And it is interesting that there's like, um, there are folks who have never experienced going into an arcade and seeing a game that was years beyond what any home console could do. Now, now arcades are pretty much so you can have like peripherals or weird experiences that you can't really have at home. But with VR, they're also getting accessible. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. But I mean, you still have like racing games where you have like this giant plastic um, like bike and that's not something we're gonna get in houses like soon unless you just buy the machine. Anyway, Shinitama's gonna die, so now we just run. There was a bit of story we missed. Boop. Okay, we're gonna ignore that scientist getting murdered. Do this to get there faster. How many shock waves will Shinatama make? Between one and four. Place your bets. Three. Ah ah ah. They've got there a little bit late. Hi. Thank you for the force field. Run run run. A super off-road was a heck of a game. Ah, oh, there's yeah. I went to an arcade here recently, a barcade that has a cover, and then just all the machines are free play. And like, they've got off-road. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay, let's go. This one's tricky. Ouch, nope, crap. Timing was off. Okay. I forgot the boop is homing. That's real dangerous. Okay, uh... We're in a bad health spot rear. Did we get it? We did, okay. Uh, that whole thing was to avoid spawning enemies here. This way we can actually do this. Normally we couldn't, because there'd be uh, folks with lots of weapons. Now there's no folks, no weapons, just us. And that lone blue striker who's really, really motivated to just jump right off. Got off while the getting was good. I see you out the window. You're just waiting for me to get there and like, nope. Trying to get me with that, whoa. Trying to get me with that silly string. Okay, I'm just gonna hope this one, this, this fella doesn't hit me too many times because I really need that last uh, 
health pack that I have. It's all going to come down to whether or not I can land a very, very precise uh, flip jump near the top. It's going to be up this up this ladder, uh, this stairway here. I'm not sure I can do it. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, but I still did get that, though, so maybe we'll be able to do that. It's all going to boil down to did the red striker pick up his gun or did he forget it existed? Now the cavalry's here. Nope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gosh, so annoying. Nope. All right, so with the health I have, I might not have enough to survive skipping the next bit. Uh, so I can just like activate the cutscene early. So, I will just do a little tricky bit. And sneak around this guy. There we go. Goodbye! It's the only, only time you ever sneak in the whole game. Because otherwise I could just open the door and run. But I need a lot of health to survive the the first part of the cutscene because I'm still getting damaged while I'm outside for a little bit so that was a little bit too risky for me cannot resist this music So not awesome on the time. I wasted some times in some parts of it. Not ideal. Also, the, that initial fight wasn't great, but you know, we'll keep trying. Keep doing our best. Just do your best. That's what we need to do. Okay, regional state building. This should be. This should be relatively quick, but who knows. Oh, by the way, uh, we will eventually be coming up on uh, the micro talk segment of this run. So please, uh, suggest if you have any suggestions for micro talk topics that you would like me to talk about, please submit them to the chat. And in a few minutes, we will be heading into that. We got a couple levels to go first. I have two men down over here. Get us some backup fast. Stop. Don't move a muscle. I don't have time for this. Stop or I'll shoot. All right. We save and then we ascend. We do the little Taylor jump. We just jump right through the ceiling, because who needs a ceiling or a roof? We could be exploring the rest of this roof, but we don't need to. We just need to head on over here, fall on here, and then we need to very carefully jump around here, and then stay here so we don't activate the ninjas, and the level's done. That's it. That is the regional state building. Uh, there's this whole thing where we chase this ninja around and find data for our missing family and he steals it, but we just, there's no need to actually do any of it. You can do it. Keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> you 
Bye. All right, sniper. Are you going to be a good sniper today? Yep. Drop the gun. Jump here. That was super bad. He just decided to completely unload on me. Okay, um... Now for the rest of this, we're not in a good uh, health situation. We will not be getting any health back. So... We're just gonna hope. We're gonna hope, against hope, that uh, the sniper that's elsewhere in this level doesn't shoot us. That is the last thing that is our saving grace. If we don't get shot by the sniper, we're good. Sniper somewhere out there. Uh, we will be in his range right, right here. Now we are in the sniper's potential sights. We just need to hope that he doesn't catch us, and he didn't. Okay, good. Now, there's gonna be a ninja with a machine gun. Yeah, those exist. There, there are ninjas with machines in this game who could pose a problem. So we're gonna, again, be doing our best to mitigate. I'm just gonna grab this hypo just in case, and then we just drop here, and we're good. So that was actually pretty good. Uh, I grabbed the hypo, that cost me maybe like a second, but now we are back in a very good health position, pre-boop. Oh, I was a little bit too pre there. Well, no matter. Ninja's up there. We will not be following him there. We'll be going here. Land here, take a step, take this in case of problems. Now it's boss time. And don't forget, uh, bring, tell me about your uh, micro talk topics that you would like to hear because after this battle we will have a very long unskippable cutscene that many people have heard many times You're one of Murrow's thugs, nothing more! <laughs> there we go. Where are you, Ninja? Are you right here? You're right here. Cool. There we go. No more Ninja. All done. That was quick. Griffin encouraged me not to look too deeply into my past. Seems like there's a lot he didn't want me to know. I could feel the ninja, and I knew he could feel me. I could feel the ninja, and I knew he could feel me. What am me. I becoming? Are we the same? No. I have nothing in common with him. I have a working spine. Nothing. You can do it. Keep trying. Yeah. So, we're just going to contemplate our past here. So, <clears throat> okay, Slowbird's microtalk topic. How to finish a project instead of moving on to three other projects that also never get finished. That's really hard. Um, one thing I like to do is, I've given this microtalk before. Uh, it's like the ICDC method. The identify, commit, divide, and complete. Um, and basically, uh, I find this helps me start stuff because basically identify is you think what do you what do you need to do what i want to do okay for example i i want to do a comic i want to make a comic then I'm, i need to be like on the lookout for what are opportunities like constantly reminding right i need to do a comic okay what can i do and sometimes like a friend says hey we're gonna be like exhibiting at this comic expo in august want to come like oh that's my opportunity yes i'm doing it commit i say yes i'm doing it so 
I've committed myself publicly, or at least with some friends, that I'm going to do this thing. So that helps uh, be part of it. And part of the commit, if you want to finish, is to put deadlines on yourself. That helps me a lot. Uh, uh, so what I did uh, in this instance for the comic, what's great about it is the convention is at the end of August. I cannot change that. That's happening. So I need to make this comic by then. It doesn't matter if other stuff is interesting, I still have this thing looming over me, I need to do this. And also I've committed myself publicly and to friends that I'm gonna do this. So what's left is like the divide and complete. And basically it's fun to get started in projects because you complete a lot of things quickly. You gain a lot of ground and then you kind of lose, it, 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 like completion gets harder and harder as you go because you kind of realize the scope of it and it's just, you know, it's those little steps don't come as quickly because now you have to refine things and, you know, it's, it's depending on where you're making this, usually how it is, at least in game design. So uh, what I like to do is like the divide part is basically split your task into tiny tasks and keep splitting until what you have is, I use the like uh, one, two, three, one, two, three method, which is basically a task has to be one, two, or three hours long, or one, two, or three days long, that's it, no other units. So every day, you should have at least one task you can finish in an hour or two. So every day, you complete something, that's the last part, you complete, you need to reward yourself for finishing tiny parts of the project. And once you do that, then that like endorphin boost you get when you start a new project and you complete lots of little things, you'll keep that alive during the bigger things and that'll help you reach your goal. So identify, commit, divide, and complete. That's my advice to you. <laughs> no more tough questions. Now let's kill Dream Murrow. We got some backbreakers to catch up on. Oh crap, that would have been a good one. There we go. Seven. Seven back breakers. Eight. Oh my gosh, we double back broke Murrow. That's super rare. Eight bad breakers. Nice. Okay, if we get here, then... Oh crap, we've attracted the little folks. Please go away, little folks. Ah! She's usually good to get back broken here. Oh, nine. And ten. And eleven. And twelve. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Four back to back back breakers. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay, okay. Twelve. Gosh, darn it. Give me that. No, stop wasting these. These are super important. Oh gosh, they're almost all gone. This is gonna suck. Okay, uh, you folk, okay, I'm invisible. You need to stop figuring out where I am. Surrender now. And 13 backbreakers. Surrender now. 14 backbreakers. 
15 backbreakers. Fifteen is pretty good. Gosh, I hope I do this well during the run where these actually count. Hey, you made it in. Cool, you're gonna give me a health pack. I really needed that health pack too. Yeah, making it rain spines over here, Fish Mace McGee. Murderer. Ring any bells? Leave me alone. Oh, I can't do that. You are a rogue agent. I'm under orders to bring you in. Sixteen. Oh, not gonna get more than sixteen on her. Hey, uh, okay, you, you're gonna need to let me hit you at some point if we want to finish this fight. There we go, gosh, it took her a while. So yeah, sweet 16 backbreakers. Just do your best. Gonna try. Now we go to the science prison. Hmm. All right, hold on. If all goes well, I shouldn't need to break anyone's back here. Where's Griffin's pet doctor today? During the pod wing, I believe. All right, let's go. All right. Ah, dang it. What the? Yeah, they're not supposed to hit me. There we go, that's what I was looking for. They're not supposed to hit me on the first try. That's not how this works. Bad turrets. Thank you. Off I go. It would be tempting to get extra backbreakers here, but I really need every second of this stealth that I get. Okay. Now we go up. Nope, you didn't see me. Now that's gonna, gonna storm through here. Okay, good. Lots of everybody converging, but we're good because we made the cutscene. Hello, Uncle. What are you doing here? Griffin's men are right around the Let me worry about Griffin. Right now, I need your help. Yes, you do. Perhaps more than you know. But I'll need my equipment. And they will try to shut me out, so I need you to reroute the power manually. I'm on it. Okay. I need you in my lab. Now, we load that save point. And it's the last save point we get in this level. Let's do our best. Now begins the hardest part of this game. The science prison. We're gonna activate these three terminals. We're gonna negotiate our way through multiple enemies who want us dead. Oh, we got that rifle, that's super important. Cause that means we're gonna take less damage through the next part. 
Now we're gonna wake up with friends next to us, but they don't have a rifle, so that's way better. Then we grab this, and we're gonna need a lot of this. Now we quickly go here. We ignore Dr. Hypo, because he will take up too much time. Even though he's really, like, he's not a big talker, he will just give us a hypo, but those seconds are worth too much. Alright, then we do this. And then we hope. Nope. Oh, come on! I was real close this time. If only she would stop taunting the terminal. Maybe we would be out of this by now. But no, Kunoko has to taunt the terminal. How did you get up so quickly, you giant jerk? Okay, now. Now we can actually do our freaking job. That guy was ready. Nope, sorry. We, we are in a hurry here. We don't have as much health as I would like. We did manage to steal that guy's gun, though. That's big. We got hung up on that, which is bad. We are in a very, very, like, good combination of good and bad here. But we're able to, like, get the heck away. Okay, now this. Okay. Now, steal that gun. Steal that gun. The blue guy has to die. We did not steal the gun. Please, for the love of God, Kanoko, Kanoko, steal the gun. Thank you. Thank you. You did your job. Okay, invisible corner has been broken. People decided, wait, no, we, we can actually, like, see her. Okay, now we need to get that thing. Okay, good. Oh, good! Yeah, he just he just straight up destroyed himself. That's great. Let's just go. Sergeant Runkiller, please do what you're doing right now. There we go. We got the good stuff. How did you manage to hit me during my rising fury? That's not something you're supposed to do. See, I, can, I can't I can even hit him during when he does his bad version of my move. How did you do that? Okay, thank goodness. First thing. Now for the second thing. Seventeen backs. Eighteen backs. Ready to lose? You're gonna get Kanoko hit the stupid terminal. Thank you. Stop taunting terminals. You don't care how fun it is. You need to stop that. Ah, oh, I was so close. There we go. Okay, uh, I kind of lost count. Where are we? <laughs> what was the last number? Uh, not super great time. Still pretty good, though. 18. We're at 18 backs. What do you think? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I, I bit it a couple of times in the lasers at the start. I was wondering, how did I lose time? That was actually pretty decent, but then, yeah, the fighting took some time, but that was actually pretty good for Science Prison. Just do your best. You got it.
No waveform readings detected for over 48 hours. Given the yeah, uh, the last readings were confident the host. I think we I got yeah. twice in a row. Scanning. So Commander. Yes, sir. That's I th I believe we're at 18. Finds before times, 12th gear, Indy. I want some answers and I want them now. Also frames I'm before Lorraine's. I like Quiche though. Quiche is good. No one can. Alright, we back off. We take a step back. After seeing this amazing elevator desk. I'm unarmed. I can't believe he let me do that. Can't believe he let me do that. Okay, uh, your synchronization is amazing, but just let me go. Okay, let's maybe not take so many things in the face. Okay, stop shooting me! Come on! I'm just. Hey! Give it a rest! Oh, great, now I missed that. Thanks a lot, folks. That's what you get when you keep shooting me. That jump is so tricky. The syndicate disabled the building security. Ah, there we go. Knocking out the power substations. I'll do the same. And health is really important for a bunch of skips in this level. So let's see, let's see how how well I can do. I should maybe uh, scope out some backup health packs here. If there's something I can grab, then it could be good. Stuff is going bad. Stuff is going real bad. There we go. All right, well, I can't do that anymore, but at least I did it once. I got really beat up. Not gonna lie. And yeah, that guy just, yeah. Uh, there's not a lot you can do against that guy. He has a gun. And if you don't have enough health, he will just kill you. That's one of the bad parts about the design of this kind of game is that if you don't have enough health, well, you're kind of done. Also, you're in pretty infuriating how the laser turrets will one time out of ten hit you on the first try. They always, always do a warning shot, except when you're doing a speed run. See, how is this happening? Like, every sing I've done this so many times, but when I'm in a speed run, those turrets decide, no, you're not. This is getting annoying. See? So easy, why don't you just do that? All right, that's better, that's way better. Still gonna be a terrible level, but still fine. Yeah, we're, 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 we're losing so much time. But we get to show off a cool part. Because doing this makes a bunch of enemies just not spawn. See, no more, no gun guy who's always gonna hurt me, no matter what. Let me just do this. We're practically home free. Okay. Whoa. 
and we go through the weird cat door, and then we're at the boss. You can't escape me. You saw that. You're a failed experiment. Calculated risk. Nothing oh, yeah, uh, the reason 12 care that the sample for glass breaking lasts so long is that I shoot out a window, it turns into a bunch of little shards, and each one of them continues that sound when they break on the ground. And if I do that on a high window, some of them fall all the way down, so there's... We got a long time for that sample to play. Anyway, let's, let's fight Zombie Shinatama, because of course... We wait for the save. There we go. If we're too fast, uh, the game saves us in an unwinnable position. And oh, whoa, what, what happened? That's new. And there we go, okay. What the heck happened there? Oh, okay, maybe I was too fast. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. I guess I just got caught up in my own explanation. At least it's good to die at the very beginning, because then you don't lose too much time. Okay. Now we gotta remember, weave to the right, weave to the left. Weave to the right, weave to the left. That's how you get the one cycle on Shinatama. Of course, sometimes uh, that turret will still really want to kill you for a bit. So you need to have enough health for that. Let me out. Trying. So we made a bunch of mistakes, but it's okay. We still we still did it. And we still hey, we still got some new personal bests in some of those levels. That's really good. I didn't know I could still do that. Emergency override, Griffin Alpha Zero. Emergency override. Remember your meds? Stay back! This is a bad idea. Put the gun down. I'm a rogue agent, haven't you heard? Very dangerous. I'm exactly what you wanted me to be. So, how does this end? For you? Badly. That's your call. You can pull the trigger or you can walk away. It's a this could be a fun donation incentive, but I'm just gonna I won't let Griffin walk because that makes the final fight just easier as difficult as it actually is afraid. in practice. You are big enough to take responsibility for your own actions. Just do your best. All right, so some stuff went bad, some stuff went wrong, but we're still like five minutes away. That's pretty good, I think. So we should be looking at still sub 140. So that's good. We're, we're completely invisible, by the way, but they don't care. Sometimes they just don't care. Um, no, grab this. Knoko. Knoko. Uh, Loon says I could do a bonus Sith ending incentive when after the run is over. I could. Uh, it would mean doing this level over again, which is another eight minutes. So, I don't know. It depends on what folks would be up to. 
I certainly wouldn't mind trying that out. There we go. I really need to figure out where that spot is, because it's really cool to have that extra buffer of hit points. Okay. Now we try to get a good truck fight. The truck fight is tricky. I still haven't mastered it fully. Boop. First we get this cutscene. So we need to kill that guy. Get his keys and get to the truck with no one standing to the left of the truck or in front of it. If we can make that happen, we skip a huge chunk of this entire affair. Okay, hit myself with the actual... Now, can we do it? I don't Heck yeah, we did it. Looks like I'll have to knock. That is the optimal, optimal thing. We kill the driver, we keep everyone in that area, and then we just run behind, activate the cutscene, and we're done. That's it. Nothing left. Yeah, the best truck fight is when there is no truck fight. Then I drop this here, grab this. That's mine, and then I go off with it. Boop. I'm in a good health situation right now. That's good news for this area. I'm gonna pop this off right now because there are some some folks with weapons here that I need to dodge. See? Like that little jerk there. There we go. He's gone. And now I use one here to get rid of that guy because he does all these like really mean tricks. There we go. And he gives me another hypo, which is important. Also, I'm going to wait a few seconds to get my full health back here. There we go, because this means I can do this and then ride this bonus health all the way down. Nope, sorry, I have a cutscene. Oh, now he kind of lost track of me. That's fine. Ow, that was a lucky shot. Okay. So, health-wise, we're in an... Oh, it depends on this guy. Okay, cool. We had a nice guy. We had a nice pistol guy. So, health-wise, um... We're gonna get two more hypos. That should... Provided we don't lose more health, that should get us through the end of the game. Nineteen. Show me what you got. For God's sake, Kanoko, you had to do it one last time. Last terminal of the game. You really, really, absolutely had <laughs> to taunt it. Okay, now we're off to the final fight. Um, I might get it immediately. It might take me three or four tries. It all depends on whether or not I can keep Murrow in the right spot. 19 breakers of vac's on the wall, 19 breakers of vac. The weird transparency transparency effect in this scene 
is always like strange to me. Like how the 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 outer part of that dish is kind of transparent. She isn't alone. You're under arrest. This ends. All right, here's our backup. So, what you will see me do is boost my health and try to backhand Muro across the face repeatedly to keep him on the ground, and then just keep shooting hell rockets at his body until he dies. It's it's tricky. There's luck into it. There we go. Never. There we go. This can be tricky, but you can do it. Hey! I just got a new personal vest on Mount Compound. First try, we did it. <laughs> yeah! Mm. So now the world explodes. I kind of, you know, there's story bits, you know, but there's a cutscene you can't see, and now the game auto closes because that's what that's what happens. <laughs> ah, 19 spines throughout. So despite a rocky start, I think that was pretty good. And let's let's go back. So we had pretty much like among the best training we can because 744 is hard to beat, and like not beating it by 0.5 seconds is pretty good. We got a new Syndicate Warehouse, like, personal best. That was great. I think just everything turned out well. Uh, manufacturing plant went super well, too. Uh, then we started losing some time. And, of course, we missed the first jump at Airport Assault. That's always sad. But then we also, in uh, Cargo Hangar, we missed the grenade jump. That's, that's a big time loss. Then TCTF HQ, uh, right, Red Striker, aggroed, and then... The Barabbas fight wasn't super smooth. ACC exterior, new personal best. That went well. We got some real good... That's right, the, the random blue striker followed us and gave us an extra health pack, and that made a big difference. ACC interior, not so good. We lost some, like, 30 seconds there, just about. Well, 24, so... I still need to become better at the fight downstairs. And also, I wasted... It wasn't as smooth as I want the part where I overheal and make that big drop. Regional State Building went super well. Rooftops, pretty much textbook. Hasegawa's Lab. I'm kind of sad I lost some time there because, right, uh, it was a little bit rocky against um, the Chief, but the rest was pretty good. Like, that was, that was a pretty good run. I just need to get that weapon out of the Chief's hands faster, and uh, what I usually do, maybe I couldn't because of the health situation, I grab the gun, grab the stealth, get out of their sight, and grab the extra health pack, and then boost myself so I can just land a couple of bagbreakers on the chief and end that right there. But that didn't go super well. Science Prison was Science Prison. Uh, the first laser dash didn't go super well, but we still did it without like dying 15 times. Then Regional HQ, we got some missteps, some bad stuff, some bad luck. But Mountain Compound, gosh, that truck fight. Now I want to try, I want to repeat that truck fight every time because that was the best truck fight. Cool. Yeah, no, I think, I think I'm ready for the endurance run. That should be cool. Nice. So yeah, 135.59. Just shy of 136. That's, that's pretty good. Like, that's, let's just, let me just like save this. There we go. That's less than four minutes away from my current personal best. That's real good. I'm, I'm real happy with that. Cool. Ah, thank you so much for being with me 
for this run. I love speed runs. I'm glad I could just keep doing them because I learn a little bit every time. And yeah, uh, Night's Still Young, if you're watching the stream, please stay on if you want to. This isn't over. But if you're watching the archives, thank you so much for, you know, helping me keep doing this. I wouldn't do this if there was no audience. You're part of it. So thank you. And until we see each other again, let's take care of ourselves because we deserve it and we are important. And let's keep making wonderful things together. Bye-bye.